wouldn't you want to have a hobby that would change your life forever? I grew up watching and studying the game of basketball, but I didn't start playing it until later on in my adolescent years. Basketball is one of the biggest activities slash hobbies in my culture because so many people played it. So many people that look like me played it. And you have some of the biggest people in the world that plays this sport, such as LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, James Harden, and, and et cetera. But some legends that even played the game, such as Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, Bill Russell, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant. Like You have so many people that affected the culture and why, why I started playing basketball today. And I will tell you how I started and when I started playing basketball. I would start to talk about my first basketball and how, it, and how this means so much to me. And then I'll finally let you know how basketball affected my life. You know, basketball was never my first love when I started playing sports. I was a, I was more of a football fan, and I love football with all my heart, but my mom didn't want me to play anymore because she, she had a big fear of me getting hurt and having brain damage. So I turned to basketball, and when I first started playing, I was trash. I was really trash. Like, instead of me going to score on my other basket, this is my first game. So me going to my score in my basket, I went the other way to try to score. But good thing they call it a half court violation, because th that would have been the most embarrassing thing ever. It was still embarrassing, but it was bad. But as time went on, and I started practicing and start start doing my moves and working on my shot and play getting better at defense. That's when I started truly loving the game. That's when I started like, oh my goodness, like this game is something that I love, and. Now I will show you my first basketball, one that I hold so many memories with. This is my first basketball when I was 12 years old, when I started playing. And if many of you don't know, this is a Wilson basketball. It's one of the best basketballs you can get because it feels so nice when you shoot the ball, when you do your moves, when you pass it, when you steal the ball, when you block it. It's just, it's just one of the best basketballs you can have in the world. As soon as I got this ball, I started dribbling, working on my handles. I started, you know, doing my moves with it. And then this ball has brought so many memories to me because I used to cook a lot of people in this game with this ball. They couldn't guard me. They couldn't do anything with me. I had some of the nastiest moves you could have seen. Just, yeah, yeah, basketball is just a game to a lot of people. But to me and everyone and all my friends that I grew up with, it was a part of life. So basketball saved a lot of my lives, including me. And the reason why is because I wasn't born in the best neighborhood, so, and I had a choice. And that choice was to either go down the path path of doing wrong and doing all bad things or be, do something productive. I decided to go, so I decided to play basketball and do schoolwork because I don't, wanna, I don't want that path to happen for me. So when I was younger, I had a lot of influence on my life. It wasn't the best, but I, I, I made it to today. And a lot of people that I, that I talked to younger, they told me to keep playing basketball, keep getting my books. So I started doing that. And then from basketball, I learned some very, very valuable lessons, such as integrity and all that stuff. And my first basketball team, we had the three C's called Christ, Confidence, Commitment. Those are the three C's in life. And then three C's on the core is communication, competitiveness, and courage. Those were some things that helped transparent my life in a big way. And as you can tell, basketball is one of the keys to my heart, and it was a big part of my culture, and thank you guys for having me.